Governor, Governor Scott speaking in, in Palm Beach East County. Coast. And look at the size of this storm. It is wider than our entire state and could cause major and life-threatening impacts from coast to coast. Be prepared to evacuate. Remember, Hurricane Andrew is one of the worst storms in the history of Florida. This is much worse and more devastating on its current path. Irma has already caused multiple fatalities in the Caribbean. Every Floridian should take this seriously and be aggressive to protect their family. Possessions can be replaced. Your family cannot. So the latest information that we do know, winds are sustained at 175 miles per hour, moving towards the west, northwest at 16. We've got to watch closely what happens here. This is going to be late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, around 7 or 8 o'clock. We could have Irma right off the coast or right on top of Miami Beach. Now, Irma, what it looks like right now, will take I-95 through Broward, Palm Beach County, up towards the Treasure Coast. The day after I put my shutters up, my neighbor also did. He boarded up his windows, you can see in the back. And a lot of other people boarded up their mobile homes as well. In less than 48 hours, Hurricane Irma is going to be knocking on Florida's door. And if we answer or not, Hurricane Irma is going to come in. I just. I just hope my trailer doesn't blow away. Like, this is my home. The Vlofis is also here. We have a lot of memories here. It would be a shame and it would be really sad if it blows away due to this. The news is even saying that you should take pictures of your residence for insurance purposes. Insurance? I don't even have insurance on my home. But if my home blows away, I'm not going to be the only one. Everybody else's trailer in this neighborhood is going to blow away. We expect landfall to be around a category four strength. with a wall of water enveloping the Keys and then moving in to the landfall probably somewhere between Fort Myers and Sarasota, the best bet. It happens still anywhere within this cone of air. Hurricane Irma slightly changed path, moving west at 12 miles an hour with wind gusts up to 190 miles an hour. Hurricane Irma currently right now is affecting the coast of Miami in three hours the conditions here are going to worsen as Hurricane Irma moves northward. We actually have over 30,000 uh, people without power now throughout all of South Florida from um, Homestead north through Palm Beach County. Actually, all, nearly 600 people in Palm Beach County already, most in Western communities that have lost power. We are at the Romada Hotel. Better shelter than a mobile home can provide. My wife's plans. Anyway, we got an old English here that's been chilling on ice that we are going to drink on behalf of the malt list. Old English 800 malt liquor, nice and cold, blue sticker. Cheers to the malt liquor community and anybody making malt liquor videos all over the world. Label out.
thumbs up. So, a curfew has been issued that started at 3 p.m. They don't want nobody outside wandering around. The curfew started at 3 p.m. The current time is now 4.15. We are an hour and 15 minutes into the curfew, indoors only. Basically, being prisoners of Hurricane Irma. Malt liquor, malt liquor. This bathroom has shitty lighting. This hotel bathroom either has shitty lighting or my autofocus is on crack. Stay tuned. There's more to come. There's more footage to see. And if you like malt liquor, I recommend you check out the Malt List playlist. On the Malt List, we do nothing but drink malt liquor and other alcoholic beverages for your sheer pleasure. And we shoot the shit and we have a great time doing so. So go ahead and check that out. Links and other good stuff is always in the description box down below. We are at 380 subscribers strong. Become a loyal subscriber today and never miss out on another vlog, montage, and more again. Don't forget to click that notification, that bell. Have your notifications on so you don't miss a single second a upload appears. I know you didn't come here to see me drink, but due to the circumstances of Hurricane Irma, this might be my last Old English. Who knows? Hopefully not. We brought most of our clothes, most of our valuables. We brought it all to the hotel with us because for a brief moment, we seriously thought our roof our trailer roof was going to blow away. The information is always changing. The hurricane is always changing path and speed. It's unpredictable. A lot of people evacuated. The biggest evacuation Florida has ever seen. Many left, but some chose to say, We are the few. I just want to think of it as we are true Floridians, and no matter what, we are not going to leave our hometown. We are going to stay right exactly where we are, and we're going to bunker down, and we're going to stay strong. Florida. Let's wrap up this maltless session and get back to important Hurricane Irma news, shall we? I just wanted to include a malt list because it's been a stressful day and I do need a drink and like I always say it's never a right time to make a video especially when there's a hurricane right in your backyard. A lot of people think that Floridians are crazy for staying. This is our homeland. I'm from here. I was born here.
It's not unusual for Florida to experience hurricanes. Hurricane Irma is the latest installment. On the southern side of the hurricane, you have bands still whipping around Cuba. On the northern tier, you have the bands that continue to race in from the northwest. Here's a look at our rainfall now. So you have the heaviest rains around Miami, Lauderdale now, but you have these periphery bands sweeping up around in this counterclockwise motion. Our vicinity, extreme winds now recorded at University of Miami recorded a wind gust of 100 miles an hour. Currently, we have tornado warnings, whistling winds, and the curfew is still in effect since 3 p.m. yesterday. Hurricane Irma is moving slower than anticipated. We are just experiencing the outer bands of Irma. It is not going to get worse until later tonight, early tomorrow morning. Just in 10 minutes, we are expected potential tornado flying overhead. The news says, get in your safe rooms, hide, because there's an expected tornado to touch ground. Currently, the Hotel Ramada has lost power. It's running on backup generators. These are emergency lights that you see that are on. The backup generators have stopped working. The hotel is completely dark. I came down to the first floor emergency stairway exit. There's what sounds like a fire alarm going off nearby building. I'll be back only when more entertaining news develops. Until now, I have to conserve battery life because the power is still out. We are currently back home in the trailer park. My trailer has no damage, but I can't say the same for some other trailers in the neighborhood. Managed to sleep the Romada having no power. It was hot, it was sweaty, but we got through it. The whole situation, this whole Hurricane Irma, very hectic. 
uh, a lot going on. I'm glad it's finally over. Here we are. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just kind of tired. I I only had four hours of sleep on the drive back here. There are intersection lights that are out. You have business signs that have been completely destroyed. You have trees that were knocked down. You have tree limbs, you have trees, you have leaves, you have all yard debris scattered all over the place. I'm just glad it's over. So glad it's over. You know, we could have evacuated. We didn't choose to evacuate. I didn't want to evacuate. You know, I'm a Floridian. I was born here. This is my home. Florida is my city. All right, I want to show you guys something. And you guys, you guys are going to think this is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to explain this the best I can. I want you to take a look at this. Yes, this is part of a roof. But, it wasn't there. That's not where it landed. That's not the original spot. This is not the original landing spot of this roof, okay? Let me show you. Now, you're probably asking, where did this roof come from? This roof came from my neighbor's house. Where was this roof? Let me show you. That roof was actually on top of this. On top of this side house. That's where the roof was. Right on top of there. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that right there. Look at that tree. Right on the neighbor's house. So let's get back to the roof, right? The roof, I guess, the wind came from underneath or it was possibly a tornado as well. It blew the roof straight into the air. All right. Like I said, this is not the original landing spot. It blew the roof straight into the air. I don't know how it missed my house, but it did. It probably flew right over my house. You can see the top of my roof right there. Let me zoom out. Here's the neighbor's house. And the roof, the roof was uh, laying right here. It was on this tree. It was resting on the AC unit right here on this piece of grass and it left us all scratching our head wondering where did this roof come from and how it got there
After taking a look around and seeing the aftermath that Hurricane Irma has left, I'm just blessed that my house, my home, my trailer was spared from the devastation. In the screen room, the Vlofis is still intact. The power is on. The internet is on. Just blessed.